Welcome back YouTube. This is Robin here from Skincare Tactical. Today we have another triple R review, but we got a double. So we'll be showing the Tatcha, super popular Tatcha right now. This is super, uh, super in in the United States. We have the Tatcha Deep Cleanser. This is the uh, Deep Cleanser, kind of a mini size. And I also have the uh, the water cream. This is like super popular right now, especially for folks who have like sensitive and oily and if you just don't want to put a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> so these are kind of like the bougie uh, kind of American skincare product. I think they're marketing this as like a Japanese or Asian product, but it's it's American. Uh, they use a lot of Asian stuff in it. So right. per usual, we're going to be going through the four step process. First and foremost, we're going to be looking at the ingredients deck. Number two, we're going to be looking at the packaging, composition, and formulation. And then we're going to be looking at the value and price, which is very critical. And last but not least is what I buy it again. All right, so let's go ahead and begin with the, uh, the cleanser. So this cleanser is uh, pretty unique. So Tatcha in general, let's just talk about Tatcha in general. So Tatcha is featuring this Hadase 3 and all their products. That's kind of like their flagship ingredient. It's like a, it's a proprietary formulation they've made. So the Hadase 3 is actually the Uji green tea, the Okinawa red algae, and the Akita rice, like the dog. <laughs> Anyways, it's not the dog, it's just rice. Anyways, uh, those three ingredients, they're, they're calling this the Hadase 3 formula. Uh, a lot of these uh, big uh, luxury brand companies, which Tatcha is as a luxury brand, we'll get to the price, it's expensive. A lot of these luxury brand companies have their own little secret kind of formulation that their chemists have um, kind of created. Uh, for example, like La Mer or um, I don't know what other companies use that formula. But anyways, there's a lot of other kind of baller status. Elemis, uh, another company. These companies have their own proprietary formula that they've done research on and their chemists have made. So Tatcha is, is kind of following the same suit of these uh, big luxury brands. So their flagship ingredients are like the green tea leaves and then the roots and flowers, particularly from the Far East Asian region. <laughs> okay, so looking at the ingredient deck for the cleanser, there's quite a few good things. In the top five, we have the glycerin and we also have, I think number six is the, the Hadase 3 filtrate. So it's on the ingredient deck, it'll be categorized like bunched up together with four slashes. So Saccharomyces, Camellia sinensis leaf, which is part of the green tea leaf, and also the Clados phonocomerus rice filtrate. So there's all these weird scientific long names. Pretty much, basically, it's the Hadase 3. They have a little asterisk. So uh, my lady will put it here <laughs> and put a little ingredients breakdown and uh, let you guys know what's in it. Uh, it's got a couple of things that I marked in red. Typically, guys, I like to mark any kind of uh, natural extracts and oils and fruit extracts. Typically, I mark them as good things because they are like what these companies are trying to put in their formula, like organic, high-quality stuff. But the reason why I marked it in red for this product is because it's very abrasive. Uh, so we'll get to that uh, in, the next, in the next step. Uh, and last but not least, it has tetrasodium EDTA. Uh, I put a little kind of disclaimer thing. I did some research on it and it is uh, classified as toxic. Uh, I guess it's okay to have it in low doses, kind of like phenoxyethanol. But in Canada, it's, it's, uh, they classify it as a expect it to be toxic or harmful. So that's something just to know. You know, for me, I don't want to put anything negative or toxic on my face. I'm very cautious of it. I know other folks, even even my lady, she's okay with it having like having it on the, like the back end of the deck because it's like one percent or less. Um, you know, you guys kind of pick your poison. <laughs> no pun intended. You guys kind of choose your philosophy and your route. Uh, and what you what you discern is best for your skin. Okay, guys. As far as the uh, Tatcha water cream, the ingredient deck on this is very similar. You're gonna get a lot of those Asian ingredients. So in the top five, in the number one is was water. Then you have the you have the Hadase 3 as the second ingredient on the ingredient deck, so which is dope. That's, that's really high up there. It's higher than obviously the cleanser. Um, so it's awesome. It has glycerin, it has diglycerin, it has uh, Bellamancanda, Chenesis root extract, rose multiflora fruit extract, and a bunch of other fruits and roots and sodium hyaluronate, lecithin. I mean, it's got a lot of cool stuff in there. It even has titanium dioxide. I mean, which is kind of an okay thing. I know some companies put it in the back end of the deck. I don't know if they just put it just because to put it 
I don't know, to make it marketed as, oh, we put mineral products. But it's on the way, way, way bottom of the, of the ingredient stack. So not really sure, but it does pro provide you with some uh, you know, UV protection. And in the back, back end, the last three items are the boo-boo items. <laughs> so you have the perfume fragrance, perfume slash fragrance. Oh my God, I can't speak today. Perfume slash fragrance. You have the perfume slash fragrance. You also have alcohol, and last but not least, your favorite, phenoxyethanol. <laughs> Just kidding. So I always kind of highlight the phenoxyethanol as a purple color. It gives, it's kind of a marker. So in, in tactical language, we call that a reference point. So I'll do another video on how I break down these ingredient decks and uh, kind of share with you my, my philosophy on how I read these. But anyways, so that purple color, that phenoxyethanol is, is the 1% or less if it's going to be packaged and sell, sold here in the United States. Uh, it, it's a reference point, okay guys? Formulation, composition, and packaging. Let's do it. So this, we'll begin again with the uh, the cleanser. This is a mini size. It comes in a little, 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 little screw off here. It's got the dope little nipple. Um, so I just kind of like, what I do is I just jet it out to the front because it's kind of thick. So you got to push it out. Oh, shoot. Oops, <laughs> kind of push it out to the front and then you gotta squeeze it out a little bit. Um, I think my sister was kind of complaining that like it's, it's hard for folks to squeeze it out because the packaging is a little bit on the stiff side. Um, but whatever, you know, I got, I got the muscles. So that's what it looks like. Um, so I've tried this twice. I wanted to give it a go the second time, but the, my first impressions is, it, it, you know, they, they promote this loofah extract, this flower thing. I don't know if y'all can see that, man, but they're like little little hairs. They're like little roly polies in there, man. It's like little pieces of salt, like you know, like you know, like those rock salts, kind of, but not as big, obviously. But kind of has that texture, guys. So for me, it's an automatic negative. And, you know, I'm not gonna put any kind of abrasives on my face. You know, these physical cleansers. I think these are really just for folks who have really tough skin and don't have any kind of uh, skin conditions, such as like acne or whatever, acne prone like me or sensitive. Uh, so it's definitely a negative for me. I felt like it, it had like micro tears. I could feel it. Even when I put it on my hand, I put it in my water and I washed off my hand, I could feel it tearing my hand. So obviously I'm not like bleeding out or anything, guys. I'm just, you know, but just overall, you know, it's cleansers. Gentler the better, right? Rule number three, be gentle with your skin, okay? So cleansers, I don't know why these folks put all these like physical properties in there. It's just... It's only marketed for a small slither of folks, you know, or people who want to use it. You can go ahead and use it, but you know, don't be mad if you start breaking out or if you get dry, irritated skin or you get like if you have rosacea. Like this is a this is a negative, okay, guys. So um, let me go and wash my hand real quick. I'll be right back. All right, next is the formulation, composition, and packaging of this water cream. It comes in. These uh, grandma style 1950s. I, mean, I remember seeing my grandma use these kinds of jars. I don't know why these companies are doing it. This is like, I mean, we're going back into the Stone Age with this, guys. So I don't know why why they're doing it, especially for an expensive product. Put it in a damn pump. Like, what is going on? Like, I don't understand. You know. Anyways, there's my rant on the packaging. Obviously, it's a fail on the packaging. Um, this is the texture. It's got that water thing. I used most of it. Um, let me go in and put it on. Okay. Okay, that's a little too much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and... So it's definitely got a, a very watery... I remember watching other people's reviews on it. They loved it because it leaves like this kind of like coating of like water of like hydration so i'm not sure if it's because it's not being absorbed or it's just really that hydrating um it's i mean i know definitely i feel it in my hand it's a little bit oily guys it's a little bit oily it has it has some uh it has some it has some weird uh wateriness to it I, so you, either, you might like it you might not like it um uh, for me personally i don't really like it that much because i mean i wanted to like you know, hydrate and then like kind of dry off. I, I know that's kind of like, doesn't make sense for some folks, but I don't like the feeling of having something on my face. Like I've never had anything on my face for 35 years. I mean, what, what, why, why start now? I'm not going to like it now, you know? And I don't know. I, I just, I believe that our, I believe that our face should just feel normal. 
like you know I don't know anyways there's my rant <laughs> okay so as far as the uh, formulation it doesn't really smell that much but you can smell a little bit of I think it's like the flowers it's like a hint of like flowery smell maybe some alcohol I don't know what it is I mean it does have alcohol in the back end of the deck it has phenoxyethanol, alcohol, and fragrance. So it's like the back three, okay? From the last, the second to last, third to last. So it has, you can definitely smell the alcohol and the little little fragrance or whatever the, whatever junk they put in there. So I, I'm not a huge fan of like fragrances. I, I think that's number one, it's irritating. Uh, it, it, can, it, can, it can be irritating. I mean, I, I'm fortunately blessed enough not to, not to like break out or have issues. But um, yeah, if you guys have like, if you're sensitive to smell, uh, this is kind of like the borderline. I feel like it's got a little hint, a little, little dash of fragrance. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of like my analysis of it, guys. So, as far as like formulation, I think it's excellent. It's very smooth. It, it's appealing. Um, I think it, it goes on well. Like, it's already dry. I mean, like, now it feels dry. So, it takes a while for you to kind of get through that water layer phase, like that other folks like love about this product. The only thing that I would say is for me, like especially in the morning, if this is gonna be my summer kit, and if I'm gonna wake up in the morning, just rinse my water, rinse my face with water, and put toner on and bounce, um, I don't want to wait another like whatever two minutes for this to dry on my face before I put on sunscreen. So I'm usually kind of doing everything within five minutes. Like I want to be out. Like I want to, I want to, I want to do my skincare thing under five. If it's over that, then man, I'm just. I mean, I woke up really early, <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so this is the Atacha water cream. As far as uh, the, the packaging, it's a fail. Formulation and composition, I think it's great. Uh, it does have the right ingredients in there. Like I said, it's, the flagship ingredient is the Hadassah 3. Um, so you guys can check out their website and read all their marketing you know, material for that. Um, there, there, are, there are researches that, that have shown you know, that you know, it works, but you know, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? So the reason why I say we don't know is because these top secret kind of formulations, they're not telling us exactly like what percentage of the algae they put into this thing or what percentage of the rice filtrate or what percentage of the green, green tea extract. We don't know what their secret formulation is, but we do know that there are some scientific researches based on algae. You know, you know, we know those big big companies that do these researches. You know, AKA like La Mer. You know, they use the algae extract. You know, um, so we know they work. You know, the rice filtrate and even the uh, the uh, Camellia sinensis, the green tea leaf. A lot of like bougie high end K beauty brand, even J beauty. They they use these. Uh, Asian kind of leaves and extracts to formulate, uh, you know, moisturizers and hydrating um, hydrating serums for us. So we know they work individually. I just don't know if if it would work using their compound, their proprietary mixture. Okay, guys. Last but not least is the price. The uh, Tatcha Deep Cleanser. This thing is coming in at thirty eight dollars for one hundred fifty mils. It's okay i guess i don't know i mean i feel like cleansers i mean they're all about the same it's kind of like toners you know it's like there's no, you're not going to get a whole lot of variance uh when it comes to like value i mean you're talking like dollars per ounce difference just get the one you want okay if you're using a cleanser if you like this i mean i know a lot of folks like this i don't know if it's the name or the packaging or the marketing everybody's just getting into this tatcha train um that's a negative i mean un unless you just have like super tough skin or you just like the you just like the pretty packaging like that's all you, uh, but as far as the ingredients go and the abrasiveness, that's a negative. So um, if you want to spend forty dollars to get an abrasive cleanser, that's all you, bro. So go for it. This is maybe for you. And it's not for me. Next is the water cream. This one comes in at sixty-eight dollars for fifty mils, guys. Sixty-eight dollars for fifty mils. So I, I always tell folks like the Goldilocks zone is kind of thirty to fifty bucks. You know, for a 50 mil standard issue, 1.6, you know, or even a one ounce, you're gonna spend about 30 to 50 bucks. Um, this is a little bit on the high end, so this is kind of like DE range. Um, it's not like super high end, like Amore or you know, or History of Who or some of the other luxury K beauty brands, but it's definitely like it's like a tweener. So, as far as value, it's it's not that great. I, I think you could do better. I think. 
I think for 70 bucks uh, for a, for a gel based water cream, uh, you can get better stuff, better ingredients. Okay guys. Last but not least, would I buy this again? Uh, hell no. I'm definitely not going to buy the, uh, the deep cleanser, the loofah extract, like rip your face one. I'm not going to buy this, unfortunately. Uh, but this one I might buy. This one, the water cream. You know, the water cream I actually did like it. It just it just took it just took me a while to get yeast and let the gel kind of absorb. So I think there's a little bit of a lag time regarding uh, the, the actual moisturizer absorbing to your face. So as long as you give it some time, uh, it should work out. For me personally, I'm not gonna buy it because of this packaging. Like I know everybody loves their little the 1950s like grandma, you know, grandma packaging with the little spoon on top. You know, people are just suckers, man. So they 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 love the packaging. But it's not practical. It's it's just it's not intuitive. I mean, like get with the program. Like this, that's you're way behind. It's 2020. Get with the program, y'all. Okay. So unless you're transferring to a pump, that's different. So I, I do have some stuff where I, I like when I use up something else, I'll transfer it to a pump. So I'll give you a quick example. So this is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I've used it all, and it's a pump. So. If you transfer, you know, sometimes, you know, my snail mucin comes in a jar. But anyways, sometimes we get things that uh, are highly unstable or they just come in a crappy packaging. You know, for example, like this product, you know. <laughs> so if you want to, if you want to save your money, uh, if you want to save your, uh, you know, healthcare ingredients, if you don't want to contaminate it uh, with, you know, free radicals and every time you open your jar, sticking your nasty fingers in there. Uh, yeah, you can transfer it to a pump or another, another kind of, uh, you know, another kind of device for you to put on good skincare products and keep it fresh and keep it sustainable. So, as far as uh, buying it again, uh, it's a no. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's my real honest review of the Tatcha cleanser and the water cream. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Please comment below. I know I'm gonna get a whole bunch of comments like bashing on me. Go for it, bring it on, let me know what y'all think. And, you know, I, I personally think it's overhyped, but you know, if you like it, then it works for you guys, all right? All right, peace.